you know, now when you get talk, start talking about Abraham, you get th the three largest religions in the world all claim Abraham as their founder. You get the, the Jews, you get the Christians, and you get the uh, Mohammedism or Islam all say that Abraham is their founder. And here's how this happens. Back here, Abraham sleeps with not his wife, his handmaid, and they have a kid, Ishmael. Let's look at chapter 16, verse 11. It says, And the angel of the Lord said unto her, this is to the handmaiden Hagar, Behold, thou art with child, and you shall bear a son, and you shall call his name Ishmael, because the Lord hath heard thy cry, or thy affliction. Now, if you jump down to chapter 16, verse 15, it says, Hagar bare Abram uh, a son, and Abram called his son's name, which Hagar bare Ishmael. And Abram was fourscore and six years old when Hagar bare Ishmael to Abram. He's 86 years old, and he has this kid. An Ishmaelite is today a Palestinian. This is where you get modern-day Palestinians. Abraham slept with the handmaiden. That kid born Ishmael is the father of Palestinians. There's all kinds of fathers of Arabs in the book. This kid is the father of the Palestinians. This is really, really interesting. Now, they're saying to this day, this land that they're fighting for is theirs because Abraham is their father. And you know what? Technically, they're right. Abraham was their father, right? The Jews, of course, we find out in a minute, they do have a kid, Abraham and Sarai. And we'll just we'll just take it real slow here, just for a second. So if you go over to Genesis 17, and God said, Sarah thy wife shall bear thee a son indeed, and you shall call his name Isaac. Now watch this. And what does it say? I will establish my covenant with him. The covenant is with Isaac. That's what the Bible says. And for an everlasting covenant with his seed after him. As, and as for Ishmael, I have heard thee. Behold, I have blessed him, and I will make him fruitful, and I will multiply him exceedingly. Twelve princes shall he beget, and I will make him a great nation. And the Arab nations are a great nation. There's no doubt about it. The promised land that God gave to Abraham, Jerusalem, Israel, all that, that is to the Jews. It says, he, you know, he says it again. He repeats himself in verse 21. But my covenant. This tells you. My covenant, God's covenant, will I establish with who? Isaac. Isaac which Sarah shall bear unto thee at the set time next year. That's who the covenant is through.